if you plan to work on really stretchy fabrics and either you don't have a serger or you don't need to go very far, let's find which stitches are going to be best on the Bernina 880 sewing machine. So remember your question mark here can assist with what some of these stitches are. So if you touch a stitch, it'll tell you what it is and what it's best used for. So come down here to stitch number 11. 11 is considered one of our stretch stitches, but look, so is stitch number 18. So select for seaming stretchy fabrics. So stitch number 11, I, I wanna say it looks like a little tiny lightning bolt. So it kind of goes down and back, oh so small, but still creating a stitch here. We also will find that stitch number 18 has that same similar stitch uh, with a little bit more give to it as well. It really helps make it uh, stretch where it needs to stretch. Remember, if you just use a straight stitch on a stretchy fabric, as soon as you pull on that fabric, those stitches are going to pop and break. Now make sure that you are using the right needle. So whether it's a ballpoint needle, if it's just regular knit fabric, if it's a lycra or something with spandex, make sure you're using a stretch needle. So let me show you what we're working with. As you can see, it is a very short stitch. And one thing that you might also do is adjust the pressure of this particular foot, or you could also switch over to your 1D foot and engage the dual feed, just so you don't have the fabric kind of stretching out while you sew. This will give you an idea of what you're capable of getting with just that beautiful little tiny stretch stitch. So it'll look like a seam, but it will stretch with the fabric. So not to break those stitches if you had used a straight stitch.